Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Margaret and welcome to my channel. Today's video is on the Feng Shui energies for the month of September 2022, which runs from September 8th of 2022 to October 7, 2022. It is the 8th month of the Yin Earth Rooster of the Ren Yin Water Tiger Year, with the ruling energy of the number 4 star in the center of the home this month. Now, these are energies uh, for the month, which means that they're just temporary. So if you are sleeping or working in a room that does not have good energies for the month, then please find another room that you can use. <clears throat> now, it's the, it's the same for uh, main drawers as well. So again, this is just a short-term measure as the energy of the month is uh, uh, temporary. And so... Um, looking out at this energies will help especially if you're dealing with current health and financial issues as well as probably relationship issues as well okay now you see here on the slide is a, a chart with nine grids you will find two numbers on the on each box of the uh, the nine grids the big number indicates the annual star and a smaller number indicates the monthly star. Now use the reliable compass to determine your house facing and uh, location at the, and the different sectors. The number four star uh, makes its way this month to the center of the flying star chart. Of course, bringing uh, creative and uh, ideas and new inspirations. So as we enter the last quarter of the year, a new opportunity uh, or new opportunities uh, tend to open up uh, with the number four flying into the center. And uh, this actually gives us a chance to uh, start or embark on fresh and new ideas or adventures. So it's a wonderful time or it's a good time for students, young people, uh, poets, you know, um, and writers uh, to cash in on this uh, positive energy. Now, the number four is also a peach blossom star, which of course also brings uh, you know, romantic vibes and better relationships in general. So a time when new alliances can be formed, a uh, time where new friendships can actually get cu cultivated, and working with other people can actually reap uh, some good benefits or rewards. So let's go through each sector's energy for this month of September 2022. Again, which starts on September 8th and ends on October 7th of 2022. <clears throat> so we'll go through the Southeast and South sector. On this slide, you will see the chart again for the energies of each sector. So the Southeast sector has the number four and number three. They're both wood elements. And uh, the number three is actually an argumentative or quarrelsome star. So, um, so this star tends to create some tension and, uh, you know, maybe even possibility of romantic scandals. So it can cause some sort of heartache that can uh, affect uh, the family, especially the uh, female uh, of the families, you know. The excessive uh, wood energy here, of course, also brings some sort of emotional stress that, can, that probably is caused by some sort of aggression and relationship problems or challenges. So anyway, um, the positive energies actually from the literary number four style actually uh, create some positive vibes here and can bring success in academic and literary ventures. Students actually fare very, very well in the, if they spend time in this sector. Um, you must also be uh, aware of the possible uh, tendency of uh, arguments, uh, disputes, uh, maybe even theft or hot tempers or even the loss of wealth and legal problems, um, especially if you have a main door uh, in this particular area. Now, if you do have a main door or an important room like an office or a study here, ensure that uh, 
the documents that you'll be, you be signing for this month are thoroughly checked before signing, before making any commitments. The influence of the number three uh, in period eight denotes uh, possible arguments and backstabbing in extreme cases and possibly lawsuits as well. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's good to be cautious, okay? You can place a, a lamp here, red lamp here, uh, in this area if you have a choice, but do not use candles as this will be too much fire energy and can also affect the auspicious uh, energy of the annual number four. So please be careful this month, especially if you have a main door in this area. And uh, again, if you can, you can try to use another door if you have. And uh, also most importantly is do not disturb the ground inside or out of this sector. Okay. Now coming to the south sector, which is the number nine and eight earth element, uh, the number eight, which is uh, a good uh, prosperous uh, star. Uh, it flies into the south, bringing very good uh, energy for those who reside in this uh, particular sector. And occupants can actually look forward to uh, improvement in their business as well. And uh, opportunities, uh, you know, uh, happening. Rel uh, relationships uh, can also do very well, can actually improve. Romantic relationships can actually go to the next level and to activate for the improvement in money luck of course i uh, just uh, you know the best thing to do is to just, just to use the sector okay right uh anyway but uh, do watch out however um that there might still be a possibility of arguments between different generations of the family and uh you know actually when we do keep this area a bit quiet and calm we can look forward to a good balance of energy for the month in this uh, in this particular sector, okay, for this month. Now, wealth, uh, fame, prestige, uh, you know, as can be expected, especially if you do have an office in this particular sector. And even if you do not, uh, you can still activate this particular sector if you, even if you don't have an office here. Uh, when activated co correctly, of course, it can bring good and positive uh, uh, results. And uh, while wealth is uh, forecast in this particular area, you have to also be careful that you do not overextend yourself. You do not uh, overwork and create more problems for yourself that, uh, than necessary, okay? And uh, especially if you have uh, a bedroom or an office here and you tend to overwork, so it's not good, okay? So the additional work might bring you income, but then again, what's the downside to it? You know, consequences can be that you cause yourself uh, so much other stress-related problem that is not even necessary. So, okay. Um, and another thing, uh, as uh, the number eight is an earth element, please do not put uh, heavy metal in this area of your home as it will weaken the good earth, okay? Now we go to the next uh, sectors, which is the, the Southwest, which has the number two and one uh, uh, stars in its uh, sector right now. The number one being a victory star and being a water element. Um, so, you know, uh, the number one star brings um, advancement and literary luck to those who reside here um, you know you can use this sector if you want to uh, activate some good study luck uh, as uh, health luck is not that great in this particular sector uh, people who are already weak and of ill health should actually uh, still avoid using this sector for those of you who spend a lot of time here watch your health uh, watch your food intake, uh, how you eat, what your diet, avoid an uh, unhealthy lifestyle or habits. So the influence of the annual number two star, remember the number two star is still in this sector, will be weakened by the number one, uh, as well as if you have already your metal cures in place for the year, 
Uh, this will actually uh, helps weaken the inauspiciousness of the number two uh, illness star. And, uh, and, you know, it can actually also enhance the number one star, which flies into this particular sector this month. And the number one, uh, being a water element, can be improved by uh, the introduction of uh, metal into this particular sector. Now, can this area can be good for relationships. And uh, actually, you also need to avoid uh, having candles or fire, color, fire colors in this particular sector. Okay. Now, let's get on to the West sector, which has the number seven and six. Uh, stars which are both metal elements now the sixth star is an auspicious uh, heavenly star it brings good fortune to people who are using this particular sector uh, in a competitive situation uh, you know this could be pretty helpful it can make your moves a uh, bit uh, better to beat your competition so but nevertheless uh, you know, um, just go with your instincts and just don't overdo or overthink things. Uh, it's not all about moving too fast as, again, you know. So, um, you know, you kind of have to rely on some of these uh, positive energies helping you and guiding you to success. Now, use this uh, often, this sector more often to, uh, you know, activate this uh, special uh, star. Now, um, you know, um, to, you have to still watch out for um, excess energies, metal energies, because of the both stars are both of metal elements, which can actually also bring, um, you know, um, violence and conflict. So better to keep nice and sharp ornaments away from this particular area. Okay. So that's basically... Uh, what this uh, particular sector is all about uh, you know while the number six is a, a good star that can mean accomplishment and especially if you have main doors or offices in this particular sector it can still cause some sort of problem for your throat and legs and maybe even with your breathing so, uh, you know, uh, if you do have a bedroom in this area, introduce some, uh, how do you call this, dark uh, colors like blue, black, gray, uh, to help dissipate some of its energies, okay? So let's get going Who to the next other sector, which is the center. And uh, the center sector right now has the five and the four stars. The number four uh, being a literary or romance star, uh, you know, flies into this uh, particular area, which improves the overall, uh, you know, love and relationship or, you know, um, study luck, especially for writers and students. Um, they will find that this month will actually bring a little bit more productivity, better productivity, creativity, and maybe also improvement, uh, in their skills and uh, opportunities to actually even do that okay uh, similarly money luck will probably improve now the, the number four being a romance and literary uh, star is also a wood star so it can affect the thighs the hip the bladder the liver the buttock and can actually also cause some sort of cold and flu uh, you know, but although on the whole it is considered a, a, a species star, okay? So, <clears throat> treat this uh, combination of five and four uh, by avoiding, uh, you know, uh, activating the number four star as uh, it could weaken uh, the annual, I mean, it might weaken the annual star, but it can also weaken the number four star okay um how, how do you call this now let's get on to the next sector which is the num uh, which is the east sector which has the number three and two stars with the number two flying into this particular sector this month so 
the number two joins the quarrelsome number three star of course bringing you know a bit more a disagreement a bit more misunderstandings into your personal and business relationships uh close relationships such as marriages might suffer from some pressure caused by the clash of these elements it will also be a uh, kind of a bumpy ride for those in in politics in high profile politics as uh, health is a concern with the number two flying into this uh, sector occupants with poor health or who are sick or should try to sleep in another room for the meantime if you do have a bedroom here and you're not fe and you're feeling poorly so try to move to another room for the meantime and uh, keep this area uh, as sector quiet as possible and avoid building or doing any re renovations this month if a part of this room is actually uh, not as important like it's a guest room or a bathroom or utility well that is good news because there's nothing that you can you know you need to do about it now if you're on the other hand if you do have a main door an office or bedroom or another uh, or a study uh, in, in or a well-used room in this particular sector then of course it you know why it might be you know it will probably uh, you know uh, affected by some of the uh, effects of the negative stars now it might uh, bring some sort of uh, wealth problems uh, some sort of stress and stomach or digestive problem as well but more importantly uh, you know you do have to also keep this place uh, quiet this sector quiet avoid burning any candles or leaving bright colors or lights on for too long during this month okay it was not the same for last month when you had the the number three monthly star uh, flying into this sector but for this month in the month of September then uh, please do not leave your red lights or lights on uh, for too long or and avoid burning candles in this particular sector okay so let's get on to the next sector uh, which is the northeast um, the northeast has the uh, number eight and number seven flying into the sector this month the number seven being a metal uh, element star with uh, and being a violence and robbery star so the possibility of betrayal and loss uh, is actually pretty high because of the fact that this number seven has actually flown into the northeast sector so be extra careful especially if you have a front door in this particular sector uh you know um just uh, be extra uh diligent with your security household security uh you know keep this uh negative star in check by also keeping this particular area quiet um do not display any of this uh jewelries or money in this particular sector and keep them in a safe place of course uh, you know um, pays to be wise and uh, not take too many risks especially if you do have uh, unscrupulous people working against you there are also indications of uh, pressure and uh, rivalries uh, in business maybe even in work that could cause uh, to lead you to some sort of losses again keep this area clo uh, quiet windows closed and uh, be also careful of people people trying to deceive you especially if you have a door and office in this particular section sector and uh, always look at the small print and uh, be careful as this uh, star normally causes problems with people you know and thought you could also trust okay that may not be the case you know so anyway that's for the northeast sector with the number seven uh violence or robbery star flying into that particular sector now we get on to the north sector of your property which has the number one and number nine uh star uh the number nine being a a, a fire element star 
and it also being a magnifying and a multiplying star also just uh, double or magnify uh, the particular uh, energy that's already in there which is the number one and you know it combines with the number one actually forms the sum of ten it does create a very powerful completion luck and uh, so anybody who's actually trying to finish a project could actually do uh, well by just uh, using this sector so this uh, particular uh, uh, energy can actually bring sort of uh, monetary gains career advancement and uh, business is also pretty good and uh, there is some sort of growth and improvement and uh, fame and acknowledgement of work that was done but uh, health wise you are actually also advised to just uh, watch out for unhealthy habits uh, please do not uh, burn the candles uh, to the point that uh, you know you avoid uh, probably eating supper or you know um, not getting enough sleep so you are advised to keep uh, early nights and avoid uh, you know late late supper you know um, <clears throat> uh, partying too hard is also not advisable too much good food also can be pretty damaging which is common knowledge uh, there is indication that uh, illness uh, if uh, if there's gonna be some sort of il illness it might affect the stomach so watch what you're eating this month um, it can also uh, you know affect the eyes uh, mental some sort of mental disturbance and stomach or blood uh, problem and it can also cause some sort of problems at work so again uh, these problems you have to also understand that a lot of this negative energy are activated by uh, some uh, forms that are actually not auspicious so if you have good forms then you don't really you know uh you know the good forms don't really tend to activate all this negative energy but if you do have some sort of uh bad forms inside or outside your houses like poison iron then uh, you know especially directed into this particular sectors that we we're mentioning then of course the, some of these problems can occur okay so let's get on to the next sector, which is the Northwest sector, which has the numbers six and five stars. Now the number five uh, yellow bad luck star now has flown into the Northwest sector, which actually can you know bring uh, negative energies and vibrations to particularly the male members of the family. Uh, occupants of this sector must take care of their lungs and nose as illness can be indicated for this part of the their bodies uh, refrain from using this sector if you do have an, uh, an office or a bedroom here and if you're in poor health please use another room and uh, when it comes to finances or money avoid risky investment there is uh, indication of money loss so uh, anxiety uh, that is caused by this money loss can lead to other things like mental stress or arguments or emotional trauma so uh, just uh, you know if if, uh, if you can you don't have to use this space then uh, avoid using this space and uh, you know do not activate this area with any loud music keep it quiet no renovation uh, drilling building work do not use also the fire element in this particular sector uh, do use the metal ornaments to mitigate the negative energies of the number five it will weaken the number five yellow star and also uh, you know improves and actually activate or feed the net natural positive energy of the annual number six star okay so overall it is uh, an inauspicious star and uh, you know again do not activate this uh, area keep this area quiet no loud noises do not use the fire element uh, if you have a main door in this area then try not to bang it 
And uh, if you do have, uh, let's say, a machinery like a fan that you use in this particular particular sector that can that's been causing, you know, that can cause or that creates noises or vibration, try and avoid placing it in this part of the room for this month. Okay, move it to somewhere else. Okay, so. Um, Please also remember that the three annual afflictions are in this particular sector. Now the three killings is in the north sector, which uh, occupies 90 degrees. So that's pretty big space, the whole of the north sector. Now the Grand Duke is actually in the northeast three sector, which, uh, which occupies 15 degrees. And the Sri Po is actually in the southwest three sector, which is 15 degrees. Again, uh, all these three uh, affliction, afflictions should not be disturbed. Uh, you know, um, as I've uh, said before, if you do have uh, a desk, an office, and uh, if you're positioning your desk, make sure you confront or sit facing the three killings and do not use uh, or activate this area if, you know, if you're in the how do you call it, the three killings area. So you confront the three killings, but if you can also, uh, you know, you can actually, uh, how do you call it, sit with your back towards the Grand Duke to enlist his support and help. Now, and don't confront the Grand Duke, okay? So again, for these three uh, annual afflictions, please do not put any, uh, do any of this renovation drilling work and uh, noise, uh, you know, noisy activities in these particular uh, sectors, okay? Now, uh, um, to summarize, the uh, luckiest sectors are, of course, the center, the north sector, uh, you know, southwest and southwest. Uh, the, the female, the matriarchs are much luckier this month than the patriarchs. Uh, the mothers probably have more influence uh, this month as the fathers have to contend with the five yellow. Uh, you know, the wood sectors uh, of southeast and east mean that uh, there's going to be uh, arguments if you do have main doors or, you know, so it's best to keep this place, uh, these two sectors quiet, um, you know, as they are actually both quarrelsome sectors for the month. And uh, overall, it is still a good uh, month to enjoy your uh, building relationships with your uh, friends and family, as because the number four star actually just uh, enters the center port. So uh, you know, so there you have it. Um, this is uh, these are the energies for the different sectors of your home for the month of September. Now, if you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel, and please share this video uh, to your friends and family. So again, thanks for watching and see you soon.